And I'm going to be sort of guiding us through some contemplations, but not just uh, mental contemplations, really sensual ones to sense things. So let's just begin by acknowledging there is a body. There is a body and knowing this true fact by feeling it because you can feel it. Just simple. Don't have to do anything about what you're noticing. Just there is a body sitting here. And then just allow yourself to sense whatever you can, not to make a big list or to strive real hard to capture everything, but just whatever you might, you know, whatever your senses might be revealing to you. So it might be something like the weight distribution of your feet against the floor or your pelvis against the seat of the chair you're in. You might be aware of temperature outside the body or inside. You might be aware of areas of tension in the body or ease, relaxation. You might become sensitive to vibrations that are happening tingling or pulsing, throbbing, might be some itching somewhere, general movement within the body, maybe the movement of the breath, or maybe you can feel your heart beating. Perhaps you can feel some moisture or dryness in different plates, places in the body. These are all possible things you might be aware of, might actually be sensing. You might be hearing some sounds. If your eyes are open, you might be <clears throat> seeing colors or shapes or textures. And, you know, if you've recently eaten anything, you might have some residual taste. Or perhaps there's an odor that you can smell in the environment around you. I really invite you to feel free to do absolutely nothing about whatever you're sensing. It doesn't have to mean anything. You don't have to do anything about it, just feel it. You might lightly note what you're aware of, like this is constriction or this is warmth or I feel the support of gravity or well, there's a numb place. Just whatever it is, you might lightly note it Good, and keep attending to your whole body. I mean, there might be some areas of the body where you linger because it's interesting what you're feeling or sensing. See if you can keep a sense of your whole, the whole field of sensation that we call the body. You know, it's a little bit like if you're taking a walk in nature along the beach or in the woods or somewhere out, outdoors, you know, you're not just going to be looking down at your feet along the path. You know, you're kind of looking around at everything, you know, with no expectation, just letting it come to you. And 
And the simple attention on the many different places that you can feel moving, pulsing, twitching, whatever, whatever the sensations are. And then you might begin to observe what kinds of sensations um, or sensory input is easiest, comes most easily to you. Do you most readily notice the places that are tight and held or uncomfortable, or are you most open to what's easy, feels good, feels interesting? Maybe you, you can feel expansion more easily than contraction, or maybe it's easiest to feel when there's lots of sensation and intense sensation versus a blank spot. Maybe you're, you're more able to feel that dance of balance, a little bit of shifting happening in the body. Maybe you're just aware of all of it like a big parade passing through or a kaleidoscope where you can see all these various patterns and colors. So just notice how you're feeling in the sense of how you're knowing this body. Good, so now let me just ask you to notice the arrangement of body parts without changing anything yet, yet. Just notice the way that you're sitting, where your arms and legs and hands are, you know, where the weight is falling, what's supporting you. And just note whether you chose that posture or whether it sort of happened automatically. And taking in your whole self again, where could you be more at ease? Where is there space or room for a little more ease? Again, don't make any changes quite yet. We're still gathering data here, but just notice like where there might be room for a little more ease or a little more unity or integration. Like, does some part of you feel disconnected from the rest? Are there places that could be less compressed or constricted? Just notice that you're using your sensory apparatus to discover these things. And again, without moving yet, just taking in that information where you might be more at ease, less constricted, more free, more integrated. Decide what adjustments you could make to become more at ease, less constricted. Don't make them yet, but just like, could you shift your weight? Would you want to change how your hands and feet are? Is there some muscle gripping that could release? Is there more? letting go into gravity that could happen and and just take a pause and then as you're ready go ahead and make whatever changes in the body you would like to make that seem like oh that would be more comfortable that would be more easy right the body loves movement so go ahead and make movements and it might be adjusting your posture or your position it might be doing something like shoulder rolls or again stretching or shaking what is it that the body is saying can bring more ease more support Now, you may be making or have made big changes, or maybe it's just a slight shift. Maybe you just relax your jaw a little and that was enough. You know, you might be sitting really comfortably and you didn't need to make a lot of choices, or maybe you completely changed how you were sitting or what you let go of. But whatever you're doing now that's different, congratulations, because you're less 
caught in this sort of vicious cycle of fixed thinking about how it has to be. You're less pushed around by your automatic habit patterns. You know, you're really using your sensory equipment. Your body told you just now what was happening and what was needed or what might help. And you felt that. You were listening in closely to the body. And you took an action that was a fresh response based on that momentary, present moment embodied information that your body gave you. So in this sense, it's not really a struggle or a fight with the body. It's really the, a matter of uh, trusting yourself. Now, if there was more time, and there's not, <laughs> but if there was more time, there's another procedure that is really helpful because, you know, what happens is, um, you know, our brains get repeated feedback from the body about moving. Um, you know, we've, we've all discovered this about, you know, my classic one early on was I was using a manual can opener. I was like just trying to twist, twist the can opener to open the can. And I had my whole shoulder was all tight, practically up to my ear. I'm really not exaggerating. I was opening, trying to open a can like this. And I noticed it and I was like, well, I don't really need to be so tight here. This is a wrist action. Um, that was kind of a, a gross, huge, hugely noticeable thing. Um, but the thought, you know, if I, um, you don't have to do this, but I, if I asked you to stand up right now and you did it without thinking, the, the words stand up, your brain, there's, there's a postural set that goes with that. And so there's a process that you can do with really tiny micro movements that just changes just changes the brain. And that's a little bit what you just did. Um, the micro movements, that's a, a much longer process. So we don't actually have the time and the space in this um, forum for that. But um, just making the smallest change, um, you're really changing your brain. And what we just did was really a lot of close body listening. Um, and you notice, you know, visceral responses 